daily, weekly basis, mm -hmm. you start mm -hmm. to overcome it. And therefore, confidence will rise. And also, the more that you do it, the more you're practicing. Right. It's fear that stops us, paralyzes us, or it's fear that leads into the three steps to failure, which is addictions, right. distractions, right. and wrong actions. Right. What would you recommend to avoid the, these pitfalls? Well, first of all, you can, you can just work through your fear. I believe you can. But I believe it's really important to have a life coach, to have a therapist, to have a, mm -hmm. a good friend to help you voice these fears. Uh, now, as an agent and an acting coach, mm -hmm. uh, you've helped launch the careers, as we discussed mm -hmm. briefly, uh, of such actors as Courtney Cox, which mm -hmm. you mentioned, Matt LeBlanc, mm -hmm. Jason Alexander, Julianne Moore, and on and on and on. And what's interesting is you knew all of them before they became stars. Mm -hmm. uh, was there any commonality amongst them? Yeah, they all had the three steps of success, <laughs> which is talent, confidence, and perseverance. Right. And, they, and, um, and, and having them work together in harmony is it throughout the years mm -hmm. was I think part of um, what I know is part of how they became successful. Okay, relax your face. Breathe. Scott would give each of us a line and we'd have to say it to him. And mine was, I don't want to lose you. Open your eyes and tell me. I don't want to lose you. Now, hold back the tears. Hold back the tears and tell me. I don't want to lose you. It brought up so many personal past experiences, and it just brought up a lot of emotion. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back with much more in Profiles after these important announcements. Now back to Mickey Burns with acting coach, author, and TV personality, Scott Sedita. I'm Scott Sedita. Welcome to acting class. Okay, you ready for the first exercise? This is a fun exercise, okay? It's gibberish. Emeka to threaten. Oh my goodness. Okay, good though. I like that. That was good. Kate to seduce. <laughs> good, good, that's good, okay. Do, do you consider reality stars actors? No. Um, I think that some reality stars have the acting gene and have an ability mm -hmm. to act. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. But um, I don't consider anyone who's in a, a reality show an actor. You know yeah. what? People who do reality shows are yeah. people who experience drama in their lives and are okay with are, are yeah, okay with yeah, it. Yeah. So hey, you know. In fact, you you've been uh, obtained by uh, numerous reality shows <laughs> to coach many of the reality participants. Mm -hmm. How, what do you do? Uh, as if they came to me to be an actor? Yeah. Well, if they didn't have a innate ability, I, I, I probably wouldn't teach them. I'd probably give them somebody else in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you get the, how do you coach them for their reality star participation? I don't. I'm not. I'm the guy that you, I'm the expert guy. I'm right, the guy they right. come to, to, to turn them into actors. I've actually been pretty good with the people. I did uh, Three Six Mafia and mm -hmm. I worked with them and that guy had an in instinctual Juicy Juice. He had a kind of an instinctual idea of acting right. so it wasn't um, it wasn't difficult but um, you know it's been only a great experience for me. I have to make sure that because I'm putting myself out there I'm very clear about what I say and what I don't say mm -hmm. and what I do. So I keep the integrity of who I am in my class. Sure. But it's uh, it's been a blast. Yeah. Uh, now somebody told me the other day that Scott Sedita already knows who this year's Emmy winners are going to be <laughs> and losers. And okay. I said that, how does he do that? Uh, <laughs> you know, I watch, I, you know, I watch a lot of TV. I've always watched a lot of TV. It was my babysitter growing up. <laughs> and um, so I really have a good, I always have a, um, a good guess on how it's going to go. I will just say this. I would yeah. say that Mad Men's going to have a really good year yeah. and it deserves it. So, but at the same time, I like to see John Hamm win Best Actor, but at the same time, Hugh Laurie, three years in a row, I yeah. wouldn't feel bad if he got if, if he walked home with it. If James right. Spader gets it, I'll be crazy. Yeah. That's just is what ridiculous. A, yeah. Now today we have many aspiring actors. Mm -hmm. we are, we're in New York. Right. Uh, probably watching. And, and you are a Hollywood insider. Mm -hmm. And as an insider, I'm sure everyone would like to know, what is Hollywood looking for today? Hollywood is looking for actors who are committed to not only their craft but mm -hmm. their career. They're looking for people who are have a 
um, an interesting quality about themselves that they can match this to an inst instinctual talent plus yeah. the practice. That's what they're always looking for. Mm -hmm. it's, an interesting, it's an interesting look that matches the characteristics of the person, the essence of the person, and that look mm -hmm, mm -hmm. plus uh, a, a idea of who they are underneath sure. is the person who's going to work because that permeates throughout themselves and when they meet an agent, manager, or a casting director, they understand who this person is and what they would be good for. Right. I think also, and I would like to say this because I have a lot of friends here who are New York uh, coaches, yeah. I do believe that it would be a good idea for actors here to get, uh, make sure that they get ex as much experience as they can mm -hmm. before they go to LA. Yeah. I think that it's, uh, and you ha they have opportunities now, there's more shows here. Even if it's a couple of co-stars, I really think having that under your belt and at least acting lessons or some, you know, the beginning stages and going to LA is a really good idea. Yeah. Recently, the publication Backstage West mm -hmm. voted you the best acting coach for 2008. And when I read that, I couldn't help but wonder, what do you feel? What does Scott Sadita feel the keys to your coaching success have been? I think I'm different from mm. other acting coaches. That's mm -hmm. number one. I think I am unique in what I do and how I do it. I'm very much about the craft, but I'm also about using your n natural, organic uh, instincts as well as personality to make a character real and deep. So as far as an acting coach, that's what I, that's kind of my way I look at acting. But what I add to all that is this whole huge career of being uh, an agent, mm -hmm. casting director, mm -hmm. and, and that kind of knowledge that I have about career and about the business of the business. And that's what my new book is about, the business of the business, how to have a career. So I also put that into the works, which helps actors market themselves, understand who they are, what they can do, because I believe that the craft and the career should be working together. Sure, it's more than just acting, it's a business. Yes, absolutely. The sooner you learn that, the better. Yes, and that also helps actors in a way because yeah. it kind of makes it um, uh, not so personal in a way. If you mm -hmm. understand that you, are, that you have a business, that you own this business and you invest in this business, you can kind of then stand back a little from it when you get rejected. Yeah. You'll be able to deal, deal with disappointment. It's not personal. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Best part of your job? I love helping actors fulfill their destiny. Well said. I just want to say one more time, Scott Sedita, uh, Hollywood's uh, most sought after acting <laughs> coach, thanks for spending some time Thank with you. us today. This is great. And I also want to say one more time, best of luck with your book okay. called Scott Sedita's Guide to Making It in Hollywood. This is great. Thank you very much. Best of luck with your Thank career. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by Thank today. Thank you. My pleasure. I'm Scott Sedita. Welcome to acting class. <laughs> Thank you for having us. I'm going to throw an exercise at you. I call it the glad, sad, mad exercise. I love you just the way you are. Very good. Just the way you are. I love you just the way you are. There you go. My boss just fired me. My boss just fired me. My boss just fired me. Very good. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. Today is my birthday. Okay, okay, <laughs> good. Currently, Sadita is starring in a new VH1 reality show called Hollywood. The series premiered in the summer of 2008. Additionally, as the Hollywood insider who knows what Hollywood is looking for, Sadita will continue to coach, guide, and launch the careers of actors pursuing their dreams in show business. Well, that's about all the time we have left for this edition of Profiles. Until next time, I'm Jeanette Eng, and thanks for tuning in.